harmful algal blooms, also known as HABs, of the toxic dinoflagellate Karenia brevis occur almost annually on the west coast of Florida. This HAB is also known as Florida red tide. Florida red tide blooms typically initiate offshore and are driven inshore by winds or currents where they are sustained by both natural and human sources of nutrients. The toxic and low oxygen conditions induced by Florida red tide blooms impact both marine organisms and humans living or visiting the coasts. The blooms inflict mass mortalities in fish and other marine animals, including sea turtles, manatees, dolphins, and seabirds. Humans are also affected by the toxins through ingestion of contaminated seafood or inhalation of seawater spray. As a result, Florida red tides have far-reaching impacts in the local economy, including declines in fish stocks, disruption of tourism and recreational activities, seafood market closures, beach cleanups, and the costs of medical treatment. Unfortunately, there are no current state or federally approved methods to control Florida red tide. In fact, harmful algal bloom control is perhaps the least developed area of marine HAB research and management, and is arguably the most controversial given the myriad of stakeholders who use and depend on the coastal ecosystem and who want to ensure that any HAB control will not be detrimental to the environment. To address this gap in knowledge and to actively pursue red tide control strategies, the UCF National Center for Integrated Coastal Research is collaborating with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and Moat Marine Laboratory in a series of ongoing studies to investigate new red tide mitigation techniques. At this time, the most advanced, scalable, and widely used marine HAB control strategy is the use of clay, which has been studied and used as a bloom control for over 20 years in China and South Korea with no reported environmental impacts. In the process of clay treatment, a clay seawater solution is sprayed over the bloom, which causes the clay and algal cells to aggregate. These clumps then settle to the bottom sediments where trapped algal cells eventually die and decompose. Our role in UCF Coastal is to ensure the cure is not worse than the disease. We are currently evaluating how the clay impacts important commercial fishery species such as blue crabs, clams, and sea urchins. Preliminary results are encouraging as the clay does not seem to cause more harm to these species. Over the next four years, we will be providing critical information to Florida natural resource managers on when and if these red tide controlled techniques can be safe to use on active blooms in the Gulf of Mexico.